opportunity to come here because it doesn't do anything but give me joy in my heart to come and talk and speak before God-fearing, God-loving Americans that will stand up for what's right in this state. So first of all, let me thank you for letting me be here today. Let's talk about CARB. You know, I'm one of the legislators in this building, you just heard from my seatmate Dan, that believes that we are sick and tired of government run amok. And CARB is an agency that is run amok and it's got to be stopped. It's a government agency funded by taxpayer dollars. That's your money. Taxpayer dollars. This government agency is funded by taxpayer dollars yet has no accountability to the people of this great state. CARB's part of a Western Climate Initiative that once included many other partners and state partners and now only Quebec and California belong to Western Climate Initiative or WCI. It's you know, these other partners dropped off. And they dropped off because states like Texas and Arizona believed that their economic future and their jobs in the private sector were more important than an illegal tax that punitively punishes the business owners of the state that they are a part of. So they dropped off. And they left California to stand alone. And California feels like they are going to be the driving force moving forward. We are not the driving force moving forward for economic future. We are the di driving force in California moving forward in secrecy and no transparency. There was a, a bill that was passed on a budget bill. You didn't get these budget bills in the middle of the night and then they come down early in the morning, you got 30 seconds to read them and then the vote goes up and it's kind of like, all those who desire to vote, please vote. People outside this building got that language before Republicans in this building got it. And they hide things in there like, CARB, the Western Climate Initiative, does not have to abide by California's transparency laws. Now let's think about that for a second. A state agency funded by California taxpayer dollars not accountable to the people of this state. How many of y'all think something's wrong with that? You know, when you ask CARB and you say, how do you think you can incorporate in Delaware? You're a state agency. And Mr. Corey, he replies and he says, you know what? All, there are many California companies, or many companies that um, incorporate in Delaware, like Disney and Chevron. But the bottom line is, Mr. Corey, you are a state agency funded by taxpayer dollars and not the private sector. So you need to be available in California for the citizens of California to review and audit how you spend your money and what you spend your money on. Because the California citizens pay for your organization to exist. So you need to be accountable to us. So we don't accept his lame excuse or explanation that the reason why they can incorporate in Delaware under secrecy laws is because many California businesses do it. Businesses are operated by private funds and don't access the taxpayer dollars. Taxpayer dollar funded agencies need to be ac accountable to the taxpayers. So I look at things, you know, when I talked about other cities and state or other states and partners that left this organization because they were concerned about the economic job growth, okay? They were concerned about people working in this state and businesses not being punitively punished in their state. So they abandoned the Western Climate Initiative. California's still there. You know what they call you guys if you lose your job? I call it a job loss as a business owner in the private sector. Carl calls it leakage. What the heck is leakage? You know, let's think about that for a minute. These politicians, and I'm only a freshman and I don't have my political legs yet, and I probably will never get my political legs, okay? Yeah. You know, when they talk about things like that leakage, guy, they, what's they, leakage? It's job loss. Call it job loss. Trouble. Governor has a realignment program. Oh, what's that? Felon release. Really? No. I mean, let's oh. just be honest with people, okay? So basically, let me go back to Western Climate Initiative. I'm sorry, I got all distracted on that. So I looked at the reply from CARB. They're not available and accountable to the people. It's it's protected by the majority party in this building. You know that we requested an audit on CARB? We requested an audit. You think that went anywhere in committee? That was stopped dead in its tracks. The majority party in this building will not even let us audit what they do with their money. It's unacceptable. It's held transparent. Like I said, that budget trailer bill that came down, great article in the Sacramento Bee, but I don't know if it went any further. What has keeping CARB transparent got to, or transparent got to do with a budget bill. Zero. Zero. It has nothing to do with a budget bill, but they slide that language in there that says all government agencies are transparent except for, and then they you lose this little language that eliminates CARB. The bottom line is, is that Mary Nichols and the people at CARB are not accountable to the citizens of this state. 
They have a public hearing, and when people get up to say, I disagree, this is an illegal tax against the business owners of this state, and you're going to drive jobs out of this state, they shut you down and they close down the hearing because they don't want to hear from anybody that is not right in line and lockstep with what they have to say. You guys need to increase your numbers. You need to network with statewide people. You need to join Duffy's organization who brought Lord Moncton here, who has scientific disputable evidence that disputes everything about global warming. Everything back from the tree ring thing and this whole ridiculous, Duffy brought somebody here who, who understands all of that. Join his organization, stand up and fight for our state. Because if we don't stand up and fight, I keep going back to the, one of these things. Ronald Reagan used to say that we are one generation away from losing our freedoms. I can look you all in the eye right now and tell you we are one election away from losing our freedoms in the great state of California and this nation. Stand up and fight for our state and our country. It's worth it. God gave it to us. It's a gift of freedom that we have got to fight for. God bless you and thank you for letting me be here. You know the cure for leakage, don't you? Depends.